Maybe we uh, all ought to think about this a little more, dear. Well, you don't mean that, Mother. You mean give Dad time to talk us out of it. Now, Margie. Well, I... we're not going to be talked out of it. Fred and I want to be together, and we're going to get married. Margie, Ellen, would you mind leaving Fred and me alone for a few minutes? No. You can talk to both of us. You know I wouldn't say anything against you. Even if I wanted to, Fred wouldn't let me. Come on, it's all right, Margie. You go ahead. Come on, darling. Even if the sky falls, we still have to get dinner started. Oh, don't be so tragic, Mother. It's no crime to get married. You did it yourself. Sit down, Fred. Thank you, Mr. Graham. How about a cigarette? Oh, no, thank you. I'm my own. Now, please understand, Fred, there's nothing personal in this. But let's look at the situation. You have another year of college. That means you couldn't support Margie unless you intend to drop out and go to work, do you? Well, no, sir. I'm uh, planning to finish. Mm -hmm. Good. I think you should. But what about financing your marriage? Well, I'm sure that my father will keep on giving me my allowance, sir. Has he said so? Well, no, I haven't talked it over with him yet. Margie wanted you and Mrs. Graham to be the first to know. Well, that might take care of you, but uh, what about my daughter? Well, I, th I, th well, we thought that uh, she'd keep on giving Margie her allowance. After she was Mrs. Fred Judson and had moved to another home? Well, it's no more than you would have done anyway, sir. I mean, she has three more years of school. And, uh, well, we're not asking for anything extra, Mr. Graham. It's just that uh, we can get by on our combined allowances and... What if you have a child? Oh, we're not expecting a family right away, sir. Don't bank on it. One and one doesn't always make two. Sometimes it makes three, when you least expect it. What happens to your education then, yours and Margie's? Well, I guess that'd be pretty educational. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, I, I only have one more year, Mr. Graham. Fred, the basis of a good marriage is independence. A man and wife have to make their own way, solve their own problems. You can't be subsidized by your parents without a certain amount of well-meant interference. You won't be able to avoid it, and it'll wreck your marriage before it starts. Well, the thing is, it's fine to wait for independence if there's time. Time? You're only 19. Well, the way the world is today, it's liable to blow up at any moment. Please, spare me the world crisis. For my father was a war. For me, it was a war and a depression. For you, it's the bomb. For your son, it'll be, it'll be something else. Yeah, if he survives the strontium-90 in his milk. Fred, death is the common hazard and common fate of everything alive. You didn't just discover it. Well, for me, I did. Would you like to stay to supper, darling? No, uh, I better get home, Margie, and talk to Dad. I'll uh, see you later, okay? Good night, Mr. Graham. Good night, Fred. <clears throat> and uh, think about what I told you, huh? Yes, sir. I kept you waiting so long. Hello, Charlie. I have been in a hot force, and I just finished up with a putt on the 18th green that cost Frank Blaine a cool hundred bucks. <laughs> Waiter, bring me the same as this. Put them both on my tab. Well, I take it Fred has talked to you, huh? You take it right. I knew he was crazy about your Margie. I'm crazy about it, too. I had no idea these kids wanted to get married so soon. Well, what are we going to do about it? Do about it? What do you mean? Didn't Fred tell you their plan, to stay on at college and have us support them? Sure. That's all right with you? Well, sure. We can afford it. Won't hurt either of us. That's not the point, Charlie. Sure, we can afford it. But can we afford to do that to our kids? Do what to our kids? Start them out in their married lives on a handout basis. They'd be deadbeats living off our charity. They've got to stand on their own two feet. Oh, now, look, John, I stumbled around on my own two feet for 12 long years before I got married. Molly's old man hadn't shipped in. I had to wait 12 more. That is, if she'd have waited. Yes, but you were working. You were out on your own. You're darn right I was. I had that bulldozer. I was hiring it out by the day. But the trouble was, it was the Depression. Nobody was buying. 